post on Instagram and I wanted to talk about it. So it says, my ex-husband is so bitter that he told our kids that my cheating is the reason our family broke up. Hence the word, my cheating. Now my kids won't speak to me. Should I deny it or should I just come clean? I don't know how to get them back on my side. So first and foremost, the biggest red flag you just did was try to convince your kids to be on your side as if cheating is okay. And because you're a woman, you could just get away with everything that you do. And basically, you're telling us that you would rather continue doing what you're doing and lack accountability for your actions. Just to justify your bad behavior. Maybe the husband had every right to just tell the kids that their mommy cheated on their husband. And he's trying to teach them about how bad cheating is, whether you're in a relationship or marriage. You should always be honest with your spouse and to your family. Because if you're going around denying your wrongdoings, then nine times out of ten, you are an evil conniving Jezebel. And that's basically all I have to say in this one. There's no sides at all when it's you, your children and your family, your children should come first. Uh -huh. Actually, your partner should have came first. Yeah. Instead of being rated E for everybody and putting your mouth on everybody's pee pee, <laughs> you should be taking care of your man. If you care so much about your children, you would have never let it get that far. The reason why I get so bothered by people cheating, and I said people because I hate cheating in general, is because it's premeditated. It doesn't just, oh, boop, dick falls in your lap. It don't work that way. You entertained it. You found that man attractive. You put yourself in his way. You started I mean, putting you on different you perfume. Attract, you're so. putting lip gloss around him. You invited that chaos into your life, and now you're going to complain and then not take accountability? Uh-huh. What's not just A saying that? A lot of you ladies like to call men narcissistic, but if you look within... I promise you, why don't you stare at that mirror and we will see who the real narcissist really is. Do mm. you know what's one thing I've noticed about some women, some, is you guys will go and let everybody know that man cheated. Oh, everybody has to know. The dog, the teacher, the grandma, the mailman. But when it comes to y'all, you want to keep it under wraps to protect your ass. To save yourself so you don't like look at hush, hush. That's chaotic and that's messed keeping up. Keeping it under the rug. The thing that I find funny about this is you should go to your children and tell them who broke up the family. Do I believe all the time that your kids should know all of your business? No. But if you and your partner have to separate and your man no longer wants you in the home, who did that? You. Uh-huh. At any point in time, you could have came to your man and told him you were unhappy. If you're married with kids, y'all should be locked in like this. Exactly. I do not want to be married to somebody for years and not be able to talk to them about anything under the sun we should be best friends before anything uh -huh. and if we can't talk about anything deep dark secrets uncomfortable conversations what are we doing exactly i love what she said right here because number one if you married that person you're supposed to be married to them forever until the day you die because number one i don't even want to get married in the future because of stuff like this if I find out my wife is cheating on me, I'm going to take her somewhere private and we can have a serious discussion about this. Her and her lack of accountability. Because I don't want our children to witness this whole thing. You know, I don't want them being exposed to adult problems. Let them stay in their space. Let them stay in their lane. And we'll discuss this like adults. If my partner did that to me, Separated or divorce because three strikes you're out. Because if you show me that you change, that you are willing to be a better person for your family, for your kids, and me, then I'll let you back in my life. But as of right now, nah. You toast. Instead of coming to them as a woman and being an adult about it, you'd rather just bounce on peepees all night long like a pogo stick. Don't understand it, but hey, go off, sis. And here's my thing. You don't want to be transparent with your kids about why you messed up the family, about why you destroyed your husband, about why your husband's mental health is destroyed. And then you have the nerve to say, should I deny it? 
Now you're going to lie to your kids. So not only did you lie to your man about cheating, you're going to lie to your kids as well. You know what that tells me? You didn't learn a damn thing. At all. You don't even care. You only care about yourself. This is why I don't like cheaters, whether it's men or women, because you will cheat so much. Uh -huh. You become so manipulative. You will lie so much to cover your ass. You'll forget who you are. You'll forget the lies. You'll forget how to be a good person. Wacatela. Hijo de su pinche puta. That's disgusting. Just to know you have that type of mindset and that you're that sick and that you only care about yourself and you're selfish and self-centered, you should have never even started a family. Like right. I said, this goes for men and women. I can't stand cheating from oh, men or women. Hands. It's disgusting. Yeah, I agree. I find it very weird that y'all can bounce on people, suck up peepees all the damn time, but you can't speak up. <clears throat> That's just like when the boyfriend confronts the girlfriend of starting the OnlyFans behind his back after he specifically told her not to and she went and did it anyway because quote unquote is fast money yeah for you but us as a couple it's online prostitution so basically you not only broke our trust you broke our vows and you basically disrespected me in a relationship and you cheated on me so therefore you can bounce because number one I'm the one that set boundaries in a relationship and if you can't respect that this door because I really don't have time for the selfish games because that's what y'all like to do you like to play games with people and you like to play with people's emotions and you take our kindness for weakness too that right there is something I am not the biggest fan of because if you can't respect my boundaries and my wishes I don't want you in my life anymore if you can't take accountability, get out. If you can't take responsibilities for your actions, get out. If you can't admit your wrongs, get out. Because nine times out of ten, there's too many women out here that will destroy a relationship. And you'll do anything for attention. Hell, there was this there are so many videos on TikTok of a guy asking random questions about um, would you date a celebrity this and that and a lot of them will say yes to knowing that <sighs> Sorry, um, knowing that their partners is right beside them and they're hearing this oh I would have been irate. I would have broke up with her right on the spot I would never date a celebrity I would never date nobody else I want you only you you are my one and only I will stay married to you until the day I die. I would rather grow old with you. I would rather do a lot of things with you. Because that's how relationships are supposed to be. And if you don't have God in your lives, that's even worse. Accountability is like a kryptonite to these modern women. A lot of them don't even have respect for themselves. They're just lost in the woods without a care of soul in their system. I'm not making this up. Conversation, but we're gonna throw it back. Yeah, good job, yay. I feel like if you want to be a good woman and you want to show that you can be better and you want to show that you actually are owning up to your mistakes, you would take therapy. You would not follow or be around those men that you used to sleep with. Uh huh. You'd probably delete your social media, go cold turkey, work on yourself, journal, get closer with God. And the one thing that you can do is go to that man and apologize. Apologies don't always work, I'll tell you that right now. But it's better than acting as if you didn't do nothing wrong. Uh -huh. It's better than acting as if, you know, there's no accountability that you can take. Could you imagine how that poor man feels while well, you're over here trying to cover your own butt? That's sad. Come clean to your family. Sit them all down and tell them what it is. Stop lying to people. You Better yet, be honest trust, with yourself. You want to be a good person. You want to start off a clean slate. You, it's going to be tainted. It's going to be damaged. But again, you created that chaos. So now you made your bed. Now you got to lay in it. I don't suggest any uh, partner taking somebody back for cheating because I just don't think it'll ever work. I'm telling you right now, you disrespect yourself by taking somebody back. You know what I mean? But if you want to be a better person, the least you could do is say sorry. The least you could do is change your behavior and never do that again. And if you are that type of person, just stay by yourself. 
we don't need more damaged men in this world because of you women being loose with your puss. It's exactly. And that's the thing that bothers me as well. They will go on TikTok and they complain about where all the good men go. I'm going to tell you where they're gone. Overseas, Philippines, Thailand, Japan, Canada, Africa, Kenya. They're in a better relationship and marriages than here in America because of your evil doings. Anytime when a man that is going through a lot in his life, the system, society, and the court orders will always laugh at the men because we have nothing. They will always favor the woman in any case, in any situation. This is why a lot of good men in America are broken because of how society treats and views them. All, all they're doing is trying to be good men. Normal men that are working twice as hard as celebrities. They're providing, they're creating jobs, they're creating buildings, they're building roads, streets, concretes, hotels, casinos. They're building a lot of things and they're doing a lot to keep society safe. But no matter what, a man's mental health does not matter. It will never matter to society as long as women are around. But when it comes to women going through it, everybody is so concerned for her. But if a man goes through mental health, you laugh at us. That's why a lot of men are afraid to come forward. And you already know how these feminists on their talk shows will clown on a man for speaking the truth. Look at the view, for example. That's why a lot of good men get cheated on because we do a lot in a relationship. We cook, we clean, we build careers. We build houses and we do a lot to please our women. But the only issue here is that we don't get nothing in return. And that's why a lot of good men out here are checking out in marriages and relationships. Because we're just tired. Because if you can't be honest with us, why bother being with us in the first place then? Why did we waste our years and our time with the ones that don't love us. That's why I said men's mental health is important. Come on now. It's getting old now. Like I said, y'all, I just don't understand how people can't speak up. Everybody can do everything under the sun. Talk to people, give other people attention, but when it comes to having that uncomfortable conversation, all of a sudden it's too much. It's just pulling teeth to sit down and talk to your partner. You don't even know if that man was willing to do whatever it took to get back with you, to build that spark back up. That's the thing that sucks about cheating. You don't even give that person an opportunity to fix certain things. What if he didn't know he wasn't paying attention to you? What if he was more consumed with the kids? What if, you know, you just lost your sexual appeal to him? There's people out here that will do anything to be with you. And half the time when you women cheat on these poor guys and then you complain that all men are the same, no, they're not. There's good men out here. You guys just destroy them. Yeah, shout out to her once again for that awesome video. Um, I was just thinking about that clip I saw on TikTok on YouTube where there was a couple and some random white chick was kissing this dude's girl and she laughs and she laughs about it as if it's cool. Like, number one, you disrespected the couple and you disrespected the relationship. And you've seen the dude's face as if he was in disgust. Like, why the hell would you do that? And you think it's funny to do that. What is so funny about kissing a man's girl in front of him? And you're recording and making a TikTok video about it? Whether it's a skin or not, it's still wrong at the end of the day. I think that's what bothers me about society is that they don't have a care about relationships. Or marriage because they just throw it in your face and throw it in the toilet. 
and flush all of the good years down the drain. Because you think about yourself. So, fellas, at the end of the day, if you're thinking about marriage, if you're thinking about being in a relationship, choose wisely.